Hello and welcome to Learn System View in 5 minutes. This is tutorial 11. In this tutorial, we will talk about working with MATLAB script component in System View. So, to go through this tutorial, we will take a same example which we worked on earlier in the very initial video where we have the sine wave source and we are connecting a sync. Now, in last video, we talked about a couple of ways you could use MATLAB scripting in System View using the equation block, adding a function, or adding a local equation blocks to a schematic. Now, many times we need to do an inline signal processing. That means while we are working on our system uh, you know, flow, and we would like to do signal processing somewhere in between along the, along the system chain. To, to make that possible, a system view provides a MATLAB component. So if I just press M key on my keyboard, and click on the screen, you can notice there's a MATLAB script block. Now, same MATLAB script block can also be obtained from algorithm design library. If you type MATLAB and we have this MATLAB script block, which is nothing but the same block. Now, wherever required in our system, wherever we want to do inline signal processing, we could insert this block and make the connection. Now, in this block, we can double click and we can start typing our code as we need. For example, I'll show you something very simple and you can extend it to as complex as you want. So here, I just want to say output equal to input. Now, output and input are the default names as described in the IO tab. So input is referred to this input pin of the component and output is referred to this output pin of this component. If you want to rename them, you can feel free to rename them according to your choice and then you can use them into your equation. If you want to feed more um, you know, signals to input or get more signals from, the, from this block, you can always click add ports. You can name them. You can define the, the direction, whether it is input or output, and the symbol will change accordingly. So for example here, if I add a new port and call it O1 and click OK, now you can see the symbol dynamically changes as per our settings. So all these things um, you could manage as, as per your requirement. So let me go back to input and output mode. Now, when I have output equal to input, if I run simulation, nothing apparently will change because I haven't done anything. However, let me do something very simple to illustrate what, what how this inline signal processing works. So here you can have as complex code as you want. You click OK. Now, once we run, we expect to see a perfectly rectified waveform. And indeed, that is what is happening with this MATLAB code. Now, in this MATLAB code, uh, by default, we will use the internal MATLAB copy of system view. But in case you want to use your external copy of MATLAB, you can simply right click and you can decide to use an external copy of MATLAB. So once I select external MATLAB, see what happens when we run this simulation. Uh, system view will now invoke MATLAB in the background. And first time when you launch it, you will take a few seconds, um, depending upon how much time MATLAB takes to, to initialize on your machine. And once MATLAB is started, uh, you know the system view will manage the data flow between the tools and all the processing will be done. As you can see now, MATLAB is activated and system view is managing the data flow. However, uh, because we need to send every sample from system view to MATLAB and get the response back, sometime it takes um, you know appreciable amount of time. We can speed this whole process uh, by using a couple of components, one at the input of MATLAB, another at the output of MATLAB. And that component is called pack and unpack. So if I type pack, you will see there is a pack matrix block and there is an unpack matrix block. So using these two components, we can pack the data or samples produced by system view into matrix format because MATRAC works very beautifully with, with matrix kind of data. So here, let me connect that and we double click on it. And let's assume we will pack our data into eight cross eight matrix. And system view works better with, with the sample versus time data. So we will unpack it by using these two components. If we run simulation, 
Notice MATLAB is already activated in the background, so we don't expect anything major to happen. And the simulation performs much faster, and now you have all the results. All the basic functions, let's say if you want to debug the MATLAB code, you can click on this sidebar. And when you run the code, the debugger will start and you would be able to debug your code from wherever you want. For example, here you can step into, you can execute, you can look at this response, you can keep executing and keep watching the output grow, or you can step over and all that. So let me just stop this for the moment but feel free to explore as you go along. So we can clear up the breakpoints and we can execute this whole program again to get it. So fully functional MATLAB block with all the capabilities of debugging, uh, processing is all provided for you to use. That's your five minutes. Thanks for watching this tutorial video. Hope it will be of your help and look forward to see you next video.